What's up, guys? Welcome to Grease Lightning Reactions. What the hell is going on here? Okay, there we go. Uh, we're here for Kuzno Honkai Episode 9. I don't know what it is that sometimes it releases late or what, but... I don't know. I saw it now, so let's go. Uh, five second mark. Three, two, one. Oh. She about to get jelly. Uh, and he's over there with his damn. He was busy getting it on. Sorry? Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, he, it's obvious, but he still went for it. Exactly. No, that's not right. Want to be tricked? Want to go on a trip? Which one is that? Hmm. How long is this series? We're nearing the end of this, right? We either got three or four episodes left. Who's in the Kai? Twelve episodes with three to go. Wow, people giving it nines and tens? You know, sometimes when I... Well, the one thing that I always hate about reviews is they often come off as, like, snobbish. I don't know if you guys feel that way, but... Maybe it's just because... There is a mentality that a, a review, at least a written review, is supposed to be written in a very, like, academic fashion. That comes off as a little high... I don't know, high strong. Uh, I like the more casual reviews a little more. I don't know. People talking about what they like, they don't like, you know. I mean, I don't have anything against essays. I just mean, like, when I when I look at this these my anime list essays that are written for these reviews, they, a lot of them just sound pretentious, whether they're positive or negative. So, this anime is not for the lover of sweet romance. That's true. <laughs> That was beautiful. Oh, she was the one who said, Is she going to make a move again? Nice scum's wish hat there. <laughs> Damn. Nobody here knows us. <laughs> now she can. Ever since you gave her that uh, chance, she's pretty forward. She's going to get as much as she li she can. Damn. Wow. <laughs> that stare got her. <laughs> Damn creepy. Oh. That oh my god. Get the hell out of here. This creeper. Oh my god.
Looks like her from the side. Eh, I can see that. Now she's going to get into why he's here. I have a feeling she's going to walk in. This guy's a creeper, like legitimately. He's a relative too. Uh. That's fucked up. That has nothing to do with you, though. Jesus. Do you really have any right to say anything like this? Oh, this kind of pisses me off, whether I support this or not. Yeah, I don't like this either, just because she doesn't want this. But he's, that, that dude's just a straight stalker. <laughs> well, there it is. This place? So I make it more exciting. <laughs> no normal relationship is fun. It's morning. Awesome. crying in her sleep huh Kept the wrapper. Wow, you can see how much she loves her. Still messed up what she's doing. Yeah, I guess you too. Don't do it. You're doing it. Yep. Uh.
do you like her? Exactly. That's all he cares about. Yeah, I was like... This is a nice place. I'd love to go to a place like this. I mean, this would be a great, like, retreat for a couple, but this is, like, not normal at all. It's not, I love that go, like, they're both not on the same page at all. The uh, Look at that dog. Oh, uh, really? <laughs> it's like their normal kisses is like a... <laughs> what the fuck? Why? Okay. I like the music, especially in here. But it's very fitting. Don't put a label on this. This is the end. You got me sick. <laughs> I mean, he is looking out for Sanai. But there's a huge part of it that's his own selfish desire. Oni-chan. She's not over it yet. I never got a piece of you. What the f I can pretend that's just poor translation. That didn't sound right at all. Starting to feel guilty. It's supposed to be one last hurrah, huh? Sleep in a different room. Okay. Huh? 
She stepped outside? Yeah. Yeah, she can't. Like I said in the beginning, her feelings are the most pure out of everyone in here. And I guess that princess girl too, but... <laughs> I mean, her Hanabi's is pretty pure too. Frightened eyes. Oh, do my best to forget, and then you just go in. Okay. Wow, that was actually a really good scene right there. Damn. Everyone's doing their best right now. You didn't expect that, huh? Oh, yeah! Liking someone that you can't quite have. That's true. They're both doing something that's kind of forbidden, you know? He, His is like a, like a little bit of a... Not, I, don't, I don't know. I wouldn't call it distant. But like a relative relationship. And then there's the girl on girl, like... Both things are a little, you know, look sideways on, except his is even worse. <laughs> At least lesbian and gay love is actually accepted now. Relative stuff? There's a, like relative stuff, there's a clear cut reason why it's, you don't do that. Multiple clear cut reasons. Is she is you looking for a movie? You're annoying. Rejected two. Oh yeah, her <laughs> You weren't even a factor. Okay. I'll give you that. What the hell was it? A roundabout way of saying something.
Stop acting like a teacher. game are they playing? <laughs> she is the one who frustrates me the most. Maybe Moogie, actually. No, I gotta go with Moogie. Moogie frustrates me the most. Because Moogie has legitimate options right now okay so he's got um what was her name freaking princess girl he's got hanabi which they were starting to develop a relationship and he's got a choice with this freaking fraud and he's well aware of it and he's still falling for that that's why he frustrates me like like She's just a terrible person, so it's not really frustrating, it's more like disgusting. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> but, yeah. People like her... Stay away. <laughs> I don't know. It is interesting, this whole um, Kanai and Hanabi thing, too. Because I've actually been in this kind of situation in a different way. It's the... Uh, still be friends after you break up didn't work out so well with me because couldn't she couldn't see it any other way um just had to distance herself and i was like okay I respected her wishes and you know um but it's tough it's tough especially when beforehand you were best of friends confided in each other and everything and then you know go to the next level and then nothing right it's it's tough and then you, you just have to move on you just have to move on that's how it works uh, I mean, at least that's how it worked with me i know plenty of people that used to be um used to date and then they would break up and still be friends there are, are plenty of instances like that but i can kind of see where kanai is coming from why it would be so uh like this is like a this is what she is saying was what I was most afraid of when I was going to ask uh, ask her out. I'd be like, okay, I do this and I can be even happier than I am right now, or if I fail, that might distance us even further um, to the point where it's going to be hard to play it normal. <laughs> so yeah, I get it. I get that whole. Uh, sentiment that's honestly why i was really quiet during that scene i was having memories of that shit <laughs> i was like yeah it happens uh i i mean kanai is i mean she is definitely uh one of the more interesting and more f like favorable characters in my opinion i just didn't like how she was kind of forcing herself onto hanabi um that was her main um like negative um but as as you know like the feeling she has for Hanabi, like I said, pure, um, truly loves her and all that stuff. But um, and I can see them being together, but damn. Everything, every little piece, <laughs> every character in this show has to have some kind of drama. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. All right, guys, we've got three episodes left to go. Uh, I'll be curious to see how they end this. Um, I don't foresee a happy ending, but we'll see. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, please like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.